was um, Joey Cassell, that Star Trek Online, and Jamie Kelly, that was her final season one. So, yeah, I get it. And to have two Ian's from yes. Game of Thrones to the Apostle to the Game of Thrones. It's, yeah. it's a rare opportunity, really, really something exciting to be honest. Good. Um, how is Dutch Comic Con treating you? How are the fans treating you here? Very what well, is, very well. Is. Can't argue at all. No, it's been a very nice uh, event. It's been very, it's been a very big event. We didn't expect it to be as big as this. Okay. Um, and uh, everybody has been lovely. Um, I have to say, Game of Thrones fans are great because they, because they're such fans of the show. It was very nice to you. So okay. that's great. Do they keep their distance or do they sometimes, really run sometimes, it run as a, sometimes someone will be a wee bit shy and you have to draw for it. Right? Really, really yeah. do? You know, the, I mean, I am a fan of the show as well. I'm actually a fan of the show. Uh, and meeting other like minded people like that, meeting other fans, is just great fun. And we've had some wonderful experiences while we've been here over the yeah. last couple of days. Yeah. Holland is such a beautiful country, it really is. I and mean, the people here are so civilized and enlightened and it's been a real pleasure to be like back at home behind that as well that as well but it's yeah, like just back. been it's good. real fun yeah. people go get it they get life it's okay. been great all right great to hear thank you very much for that compliment yeah how is it to play a baddie within it game of thrones was great fun up until the last two episodes yeah when that personal side of the depth of the character was revealed that was horrible and I really, at the time, I wasn't expecting it. No. Until I got the script, it was just like, oh, no. <laughs> it was awful. But apart from that, up until that moment, it had been great fun. Yeah. It's always good fun playing a thoroughly despicable villain. Uh, and it's, you know, I, I had a great <laughs> deal of will have like pleasure it. doing it. Um, yeah. The last two episodes were tough. They were tough because you suddenly saw a personal side of this character that made him three times, ten times as monstrous as he'd been before. Yeah. But luckily enough, what had happened before yeah. tied in with what was to come. What's to come, yeah. Uh, so we were, yeah, typically of uh, the quality of writing of Game of Thrones, you know, there was no major leap of faith to see this private yeah. side of the character come. Yeah. yeah. It's a very, very well crafted show. I think it's one of the reasons why it's so successful. Certainly it's one of the reasons why I'm such a fan of it. It's, it's incredible, it really, it's incredible. Nobody, I think nobody presumed or had even thought up that it would be yeah. this huge, even for you, I presume. Yeah. Did, you, did you expect this? I didn't even know what Game of Thrones was at the first Honestly, time. Honestly, did I before it started? You know, Honestly. Game of Thrones, it was this strange series called Game of Thrones. What Game of Thrones meant nothing to us. And then it came Both For both of you? I think uh, probably true. Yeah, I had, I had yeah. not read the books. I had heard, I had heard of the books, but I hadn't read them. Well, okay. I, I knew nothing about it. I got cast as this character called Barrison Selmy, Sir Bannister, as friends of mine used to call him home. <laughs> Bannister, they still they do. slide down the staircase, by the way, for those who don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, you know, once I announced, I happened to be working in the theatre at the time, and I happened to say, you know, oh, I've got a part in this show called Game of Thrones. Oh, said somebody who was from the house, I've got the first book. And I said, first book? What are you talking about? It's a series of books. Christ what is God. more is they're hugely popular in America, apparently already they were well known in the States. Yeah. And I remember thinking, oh, that's interesting. There may be a future in this if it's based on books and it would be popular. Okay. And I got book one. Now, I wouldn't be a fan of fantasy. And initially I sat and looked at this book thinking, I don't want to read this thing. And I can't <laughs> <like that. laughs> So, uh, uh, you know, really I really uh, love it. After a while, I thought, oh, come on, you're doing it. You better read it. I started reading it on the tube on the way home from the theatre to where I was staying. Yeah. And I got so hooked on it. Yeah. I couldn't put it down. So I read, I don't know, 50, 100 pages. And I thought, this is great fun, I like this. So it caught, it caught so you right. I carried, it caught me right away, and I carried on reading the whole thing. And I remember thinking at the end of it, well, I've got to read the rest of these. Yeah. This, this is good. I so also felt, if this is fantasy, yeah. I think I could actually get into fantasy. But actually, the truth of the matter is, part of why it works is it's much more than just fantasy. 
it's it's you know it's politics, it's double dealing, it's connivance, it's, it's personal conniving, relationships, it's, backstabbing sometimes. it's all those things, yeah. and that makes it really interesting, really sexy and fun. Yeah. So you know, having read one, I had to carry on. I read all five and loved them. Yeah. And now I'm really looking forward to book six, and I'm really looking forward to six because at this stage, yeah, none of us know Correct. what's exactly. going to happen next. Exactly. You know? In the books, you don't know. In the books, you don't know. In the series, you don't know. And at this stage, they're both going in slightly different directions. What's going yeah. to be fascinating is yeah, the correct. extent to which, if at all. Series six and book six start to match up again. I, I presume I, 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 I have no clue how everybody's waiting because this is the real thing going on because it's going. Yeah. One is going yeah. to the left, the other yeah. is going to the right. Yeah. So for you also, I think. Did you well, read them? I did. Did you had any? I met George Martin last year, and I was perfectly candid with him. I just said, look, I have at least two copies of all of your books. Probably three in some cases. I keep signing them, giving them away, and then <laughs> you have to buy them and buying them up in public. <laughs> so, so I've given you the royalties, make no mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't read any of them. <laughs> at all. <laughs> he kind of looked at me as if, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what they make of that. But that's why you probably. <laughs> the reason why I haven't read them is I'm not going to read them until you're about to publish book seven. Until you seven with this. With seven. This. Seven, yeah, I'm not seven. doing a Harry Potter again. I'm not waiting two years for the last book. I'm not doing it. it <laughs> You're binge reading then. On the shelves. And, and then I will read them in a month. And did, oh, he, did he say, oh, he forgave me. He forgave me. Did, did he, he say, say no words, I will get the books out. He, no, he forgave uh, He forgave uh, He said that was okay. Yeah. See, I'm, the, I'm so. kind of the same. I haven't wa have watched the TV series. But uh, the part of the reason I haven't watched the TV series is because sometimes when you're in something, you don't actually want to watch it. I mean, that's part of it. I, I can imagine somewhere about that. Yeah. And another <coughs> part of it is that I didn't start to watch it at the beginning, and then I kept thinking, well, I can't dive in in the middle. I've got to go back and start at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. So I've always sort of said to myself, once you know you're out of it, you can start watching. So in theory, I can start watching now. Yeah. But Indeed. I haven't got round to it yet. No, 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 no. I've watched it about four times. But I'm yeah. not, I might yeah. just the watch the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Well, not season five. I've only watched season five twice. Yeah. Season four three times, and everything else four times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every time you watch it, you get something new. Yeah, you do. You, yes, oh, you I do. missed that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. yeah. No, you get it. Yes. Be inside like Frankie. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> how How were the last days on set? For me, well, yeah. Yeah, for me uh, the last three days it was very strange, unusual. It was filmed in order. Yeah. Uh, episode 9, then the first part of episode 10, then the second part of episode 10. Okay. And that was just being amazing. Yeah. So it was filmed in order. Um, it was toward the end of the filming year. Yeah. And it was, out, it was a studio outside Belfast because it was a small contained space and we were using a smaller studio. Yeah. And that's up in Banbridge. Yeah. And uh, everything was done in order to <coughs> sequels. From the bit of an episode 9 yeah. to the, my ending in episode 10. And it was three of the most intense filming days, three ultimately of the most successful filming days. Yeah. And gratifying filming days because we got it. Yeah. Uh, and then. My very last take on set was the take, the, take, the last the take, take yeah. and we did it in one. The blood's coming out, cut, and I'm lying, and I've been blind at this stage for yeah, blind nine or, hours, yeah. because I've been wearing prosthetics in my oh eyes my for about nine hours. You haven't seen that No, I haven't seen anything oh my goodness. I have seen that would be nothing at all for nine hours. I've been sprayed with blood, covered blood, stabbed, beaten, you yeah. know it. And that was all amazing. Like, yeah, there were no stunt people. That was us. We did that. Only scene. both of you. We did that. See, they used to stunt two stunt people for one long shot where Meryl was falling back. She Correct. Was jumping on. Yes. Apart from that, it was all amazing. Like, My all of this. So really, we were really pleased. And then David, the director, was playing back the last take, and I got we going again. What is going again? Are we going again? And he he shouted out. The words that to this day constituted the worst moment of my professional career. <laughs> and he said, really that That's a serious rap on him, really. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, and then it, it's what we're It's gone. I'm out of here. And honestly, it was gut wrenching. 
it really was to know for standing to kill the tears back. Yeah, <laughs> even though you had done you know your job and you had got yeah. it, this huge cheer from the crew, this remarkably generous crew we were filming with. But it was the worst moment of my life. They were delighted to see the back of it. <laughs> but it was the worst moment of my professional yeah. career. It was awful. And yours? Well, I didn't finish in sequence. My fight was actually in Croatia. Okay. Uh, you both and, and that was the last. It, 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 in fact, I shot that back to front. The fight was shot uh, on one particular day. The run into the fight yeah. was shot. That, which was the last thing I did in Croatia, was shot several days later. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And, so it was, yeah, really yeah, was yeah. So, I mean, all that business of hearing it in the street and running into to the fight was, yeah. was several days later. Okay. And then I got back to Northern Ireland and we picked up a couple of other scenes in the studio. So I didn't, uh, I didn't finish in sequence order at all. So you didn't have the uh, I didn't emotional, have the emotional thing. You didn't have the yeah, emotion. Yeah, yeah. The three days of horror, the yeah. hard work, the technical difficulties, the emotional drain. Yeah. He's a drama queen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I figured that. Yeah, it was very unusual the way the film might. It was just, yeah, it, I, I, it doesn't often happen. I mean, he yeah. may be a knight, you know, but he's a drama queen. Anyway, mine, mine was much more so prosaic. I ended up doing a very small scene yeah. in Daenerys's uh, uh, chambers yeah. uh, as my last scene. Yes. Did you get a and cheer? I remember at the end. No, but I didn't really warrant a cheer on that particular day. <laughs> Perhaps they didn't want rid of me in the same way. But, uh, anyway, you know, I mean, at the end of it. I remember thinking, oh, I'm going to be very sort of philosophical about this, you know, it's yeah. over and that's that. Most of the actors do that. Yeah. yeah, and it was going to be, well, that's, you know, the same thing, serious rap on Liam Magnetti. And I was fine. I was just going around saying thank you to this, that, and the other person. And then, and I wasn't expecting this because I hadn't, you know, there'd be no talk about it, but my fellow cast members gave me some gifts. You get that? No, no well, anyway, Maisie killed me. <laughs> Why would she give me a gift? She knocked a hoop out of me for about nine straight hours. Why would she give me a gift? My fellow cast members gave me some gifts, and we'd worked as a small team. We'd worked together a lot over two or three years. Yeah. And I was really wasn't expecting that, and that made me emotional, you know, because I wasn't expecting it. So I, 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 I have to admit that I too was a bit emotional, but I wasn't expecting it. And I was also sad, actually because it's a great gig to have been on. Yeah. And you'd like to stay on for as long as you can, you know? So, you know, yeah, that, and, that and, was my, that and was I wasn't ready to leave. Well, you know, the truth of the matter is, I had not expected to leave, because in the books, he doesn't die at that point. That was my you next know? question. How does it feel now you've been excellent within yeah. the series, yeah. but in the books, He's still alive. I have and a nasty still suspicion. Carries. I mean, I'm, I'm looking oh. forward to seeing Book Six because I have a nasty suspicion that Barristan is going to feature quite significantly in Book Six. And well, I'm going to be, I'm, well, I'm going to be really frustrated because I'm a bit I'm really frustrated, I will, I will you know, pissed off that, that I left when I did. <laughs> you know, yeah, there I, you go. That's I will point out that my character is still alive in the books as well. You know, here you yeah, you can, yeah, true, 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 true. true. No, no, admittedly, you know, I'm not you know. ruling Marine, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the character's still alive. No, I, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> you, I, 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 I've become philosophical about it now. Yeah. But to be honest, it's But time. you will keep reading your books, I was, well. Oh, absolutely. I, it's time. I'll, I'll keep on it. I was disappointed because I thought yeah. this character's got an interesting future and that interesting future got cut short, you know, so. How is, how is family life taking it that you were going through these last few yeah, weeks well, or months uh, of yeah, filming? Yeah, well, in my own family's case, you could say blithe indifference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my wife is a writer yeah, was actually about and is busy yeah. doing her own projects. Okay. And it's like, oh, so you're right of it then. And the biggest shame, of course, would be, well, that's the end of that stream of, of money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, my children, one of them watches it, uh, the youngest one, because uh, it's kind of like what his generation does. They, they follow it, so he kind of in, in, watches it. Yeah. But, you know, he can't really take it seriously, because flip sake, that's his dad. You know? yeah. The other two, they're kind of 
in a way, I mean, they never admit it. They're sort of chuffed that you're doing Game of Thrones. Okay. But they wouldn't watch it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wouldn't and watch it. The, <laughs> the oldest boy can't take fantasy. He said, I'd rather enjoy the series one until the, the dragons came along. He said, that was it. And that was it. He was out. He was out. Watch it. My so, two youngest don't care that watch it, but all their teachers watch it. Which is kind of, you know, made for the car park, the school car park was a really interesting place the Monday after that. Was <laughs> <laughs> Parents pulling their kids away from the bad man could get away. Yeah, come on. <laughs> really? Uh, really? Yeah. You're really experienced that? <laughs> no, really. I mean, you know. <laughs> could have. Uh, uh, okay, it could have, but no, they were. Uh, all their teachers watching my kids are too young, the two youngest ones are. My eldest, the 20 year old, he loves it, but then when that storyline was shown, he was looking at me and going, Have you any idea how hard a time I'm going to get from all my friends when they see you? This? Are you kidding me? Who are you? My wife knew, my wife knew it hit me pretty hard. Yeah. yeah? I mean, it did. It's honestly, you spent five years working with the most talented people you've ever worked with. Yeah. Some of the best directors in the world. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. best material you've been given in a script. Yeah. Two best They're scripts amazing writers, ever. Of course, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why the show's so big. It's that good. Yeah. It is genuinely that good. And I speak as the most passionate fan of it. And uh, to leave those people behind is awful. Yeah, it's honestly like. But you will be following them. One last question. One last question, one last question. sorry. Last question. Is Jon Snow dead? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You're asking the wrong question. <laughs> Is he coming back as is a wife? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm not in <laughs> You're you asking the wrong guy. You're asking the wrong guy. We don't know. We don't know. But I think it is that kid that's Captain Lorenz really, really strong. I, think yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I have no I idea. Has, but I do right, believe the okay. series will be a poor series. Maybe you should call. Yeah, call. Let's go. Kid, find it. We want an answer. You don't have his number there? Hello, Kid. Even if we do, we wouldn't. Right, and secondly, he of course. Us. No, you have to. I presume that you have to. Uh, you more or less it. have to sort of like, you know, a pain of death, you know. Yeah, and pain of death. Yeah. And honestly, you know, do, most do, people don't do like spoilers. The storyline, if he's dead or not. No, no we don't. We, I know he's dead. We, we, we don't know. He died at the end of episode. Don't know. We, we have seen him in sex pictures. Well, he may have been a sex pictures, but I. That's good. I'm sorry. You say set pictures. I thought you said something else. No. <laughs> Where did you get those <laughs> pictures? He may have been, but we have to be on set, so we don't. Yep. I'm not very good at keeping in touch, but you know, we have. He's not very good in touch with keeping in touch with his wife, now don't get me wrong. He's just not very good. This is going to be. This is going out of hand. This is growing out of hand now. But okay, but you keep in touch. He makes hope regularly on Broadway. So, no spoilers from them, I presume? No.